Lions TV, this is The Den Daily, bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around The Den. About an hour ago, the news at Den broke the exclusive that Millwall are interested in signing Hull's 27-year-old attacking midfielder. He can play wide as well, George Honeyman. Okay, so this is one that I'm interested in. I think Honeyman's a good player. He scored a fantastic goal against us last season. As I said, he is a cam. He sort of likes to arrive late in the box. He can also play out wide. He's similar to Ben Thompson. Loads of energy. However, he is technically a lot better. And as I said, he's had a good career. You know, he played for Sunderland throughout his youth career. Played four years with the Black Cats before moving to Hull in 2019. He has got a year to run on his contract. Hull exercised that one-year extension in May this year. So there is a year to run on that contract. He is contracted to Hull until... May next year. So we'll definitely have to buy him if we do want him. I, look, I don't want to put a down on things because I am excited. It's a good signing for us, a good level of championship player, in my opinion. But I just don't know why we only just expressed an interest. Surely Rout knew we wanted him, or is he maybe a second choice to someone else? I don't know. But the other thing to factor in is, as I said, he's a central attacking midfielder. We don't really play a cam, do we? We sort of play one striker two wide, and then two in the central midfield behind that, and five at the back. So not really a position that we're seeking unless Gary Rout is going to change the formation, which, as we know, is quite stubborn, and he's setting his ways, and I can't see him changing our formation to suit Honeyman. As I said, he's 27 years old. He's nearly 28. He's played 119 games for Hull, scoring 10 goals in the process. Similar type of record at Sunderland, so he's about 1 in 10 Goal scoring wise, and we'll be looking for a lot more than that from him or anyone else that comes through the door now to replace Jeb Wallace, who joined West Bromwich Albion earlier today on a four year contract. Rowett has also alluded to that we haven't got players in yet because we're going after club's best players. I can guarantee you that he isn't their best player because Keen Lewis Potter is without doubt a brilliant talent at Hull and their best player, and he's expected to move on to the Premier League and the pastures new. Why would Hull want to sell Honeyman? I don't know. Money's obviously not an issue for them with a new multi-billionaire owner. Maybe that is it. Maybe they're restructuring and they're going to have a right good clear out and have a good go to try and get back to where they came from a few years ago, which is, of course, the Premier League. So I don't know. Maybe Hunnaman doesn't figure in their plans and, and their new manager. I don't even know who their manager is, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure where they are at their end of things. At our end of things, I, I like the idea of it, but we seem to be going after lots of similar types of players. Burke's going to come through the door, believe you me. Tyler Bury's already there, as is Mason Bennett. And now we've gone after Ferguson and Rudoni and now Honeyman. We're going after them sort of wide or central attacking midfield players. I still believe, and we still might get one, we need an out and out striker. One thing this does give me confidence and, and please me a little bit is that we don't seem to be going after a striker. And that tells me that Isaac Alafay is definitely going to get his chance at the club this season with himself and Tom Bradshaw, the only strikers at the club. Now, Zach Lovelace has also, of course, left and joined Glasgow Rangers. So, Honeyman, OK, good player. As I said, scored a really good goal against us up there last year, arriving late in the box. Great header before Tom Bradshaw levelled things up. Hull went on to win that game. He's tricky. He likes to switch to play left to right. As I said, likes to arrive late in the box. He's definitely a player I'm interested in, but can we bid for him? Can we just say unveiling in an hour? I've seen a lot of clubs, Gillingham, just one of them, but loads of clubs that are sort of at our level and a lot lower, announcing players left, right and centre. And I know Rao has given his reasons for that, but we are, you know, we are against the ticking clock here. The players go away on Monday, I think it is, to Ireland for their pre-season tour. And you want to get these players integrated through the door. You want to get them into the group and you want to see what they're, what they're made of and get them settled as quickly as possible because games start in five weeks' time. So, yeah, look, George Honeyman, he's 27, he's nearly 28. I don't know what it'll cost us because he's still got a year left to run on his whole contract. But I think he's a good player and I think he could do a job at the den. I'll give you more news as it comes. Hopefully a bid, hopefully a signing. And I'm sure at some point, I keep saying this, there's going to have to be an Ollie Burke announcement. Uh, they'll have to get the wheelie bins out at Calmont Road soon, hopefully, for a little announcement video. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. If you don't, you're probably thinking, what the fuck? But anyway, look, Ollie Burke is coming in. So keep your eyes peeled. I keep saying it. I know what's happened. I've took yesterday off work and today off work. First day back for the players yesterday and then today, the fixture release. to so pump loads of videos out. I know tomorrow when I drive into the office, as I arrive 
we're going to announce Ollie Perk or someone else. But I will get them videos out regardless. It just would really help me out today if we can get them deals done. Please, Gaffer, JB, whoever's watching, if anyone's watching. And it's going to give us fans something to talk about, something to, to cling on to. Because at the minute, loads of players going out, as I said, and still, as of yet, not one through the door. Please, subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.